Hello, welcome to another dev update. This is version 5.10.1, which is basically fixes. Uh, when it, when they ever did put a point 0.1, it's basically like, oops, we messed up, and it, it's fixes. Uh, so general changes, tweak solar raid decks to exclude some possible decks configuration, bug fixes, look at that list. So they fix golden forge levels, uh, fix manner refund not working for heavy strike multicast, fix particle effect ring on spell shown through panels, Fix Solo Raid World Daily Portal End Timer. Six, uh, fix various Solo Raid visual bugs. Now, when they mean visual bugs, is that uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but when let's bring up the um, Solo Raid Worlds, it was a glitch in between the icebergs. I don't know if you guys seen that, but this bit here, I, I had major glitch in between these two. Uh, I don't know if you guys had that experience as well, like the this, this foreground and background just glitched up bad. Um, so let me know in the comments below if you've experienced that. Uh, fixed Twilight Fairies persisting through prestiges. What was wrong with that? Uh, fixed Clan Ship DPS not appearing in the AT starts panel. Fixed Huawei purchases issue. Uh, lucky that I don't sponsor them anymore because that would have been a pain explaining that. Fixed issues with players not receiving all their catch-up attacks. Mm. And fixed Power of Oblivion not being affected by the magnifier. That would have been a big one. Uh, fix various visual issue, issues and fix various localize, uh, localizations. Now, what they haven't fixed is that heavenly strike is shit. Why <laughs> haven't they fixed that? I see nothing about increasing stats of HS. The HS base stats are too low. Um, so six mana, ref mana refund. The refund is not an issue. Uh, heavenly strike just is just shit. So they need to address that. So in addition to 5.10.1, they will discuss new cards that we introduced in the near future. We're teasing these back in 5.5 and they're coming out October 31st. So they're coming out Halloween. Now, is that real or is that like a joke? Like a Halloween joke? Because it's a bit weird for them to come out on a Sunday. I don't know. But um, if, it, if, it, if it does, cool. Both are designed to be flexible options that can easily use against any Titan Lord, which should make it easier to attack against different Titans, Lord setups when looking to, to complete catch attacks. You've got this one. So first off is that big chain one. It's called Chain of Vengeance. This new tier two burst card can be used on any part. When Chains of Vengeance is activated, it chains the um, sorry, it chains the tapped part, so it links them together, and then deals damage to all chained parts. The amount of damage dealt per part is based on total number, number of chain parts. For example, if you deal a total of 100 damage per chain part, the first part of the chain would, would take the full uh, 100 damage. Then you start tapping on a different part and also chain it. Both parts will each take 50 damage. So it spreads the damage. Uh, Chains of Vengeance is a strong option that can be used in any deck against Titan Lord configuration. So that's where it basically, so that doesn't look like, but that's the idea behind it. Uh, Rip flack indeed. And then you've got, uh, secondly, Team Tactics. This is a new tier two support card that gives raid damage bonus when activated. This means that the support bonus will boost all damage you deal during raid. However, Team Tactics have an extra function that really helps up bring teamwork aspect of the card. Using Team Tactics in attack increases your entire clan's bonus damage from the start of the next attack window until the end of the current raid. This means your clan's power will continue to increase as the raid goes along as you work together. So essentially, I'm um, guessing new strats would be using team tactics at the start of the raid. And I think if you worked out if all your clan mates um, activate it, you could potentially, what was it 4% extra damage? 4% raid damage if all 60, um, if all team members use it. I think that was the stats. I have to double check. Uh, if you want to see these in action, um, you have to. Uh, they, I did cover them in a previous dev update video. So two dev update videos back. I'll find it and I'll link it in the description below. Unfortunately, I've checked my dev account and they've um, removed it. It's probably they've probably changed some some stats before release, or maybe they're doing some changes to it. Uh, but yeah, if you want to see them in action, I ha did have access to it, but I don't no longer have access to it. So unfortunately, I can't show it in this video. Uh, but I will, when I do, when it does come out, I will um, go through it and see what are the best combination, what's the best tactics and raid decks once I've got used to it. And I'll let you get it, like, guys know ASAP. 
So it's a bit of a short one in this video because it's just basically fixes the two raid cards. But when you know more information, I will let you guys know ASAP. And if you want to help support the channel and you want your name featured at the bottom of this video, you see all these lovely names are the people that have uh, subscribed over the last week. So thank you very much for supporting the channel. Uh, but yeah, just click that red shiny button and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care. Bye.